Today I'm going to talk about how to tell if you are being scammed, whether it's from a pyramid scheme, your long lost Nigerian prince uncle that somehow decided to leave you all his inheritance, or simply just investments that promises a 10 times return or even more. The first way to tell that something is probably a scam is that if it sounds too good to be true, then it probably is. Sounds pretty simple, right? If someone tells you that you can earn tons of money by doing pretty much no work at all, or all you need to do to earn millions is to buy and finish this online course, it's probably too good to be true. And if something is too good to be true, chances are it's probably a scam. The reason why many of these online stock market trading gurus aren't actually as good at investing as they claim they are is because they make the majority of their money from selling online courses to people instead of actually doing the trading themselves and making money from doing the trading. If they were actually so good at trading, they wouldn't need to sell those online courses to you or everyone else. And by teaching their trade secret methods, they're just creating lots of good traders that they ultimately have to compete with. Now, things like trading is a zero sum game, which means that someone has to win and someone has to lose. And the more competitors that they make obviously means that the less money they'll make from actually trading itself. So online courses that promise you to get rich are usually a big no-no. The second big tell that something might be a scam is that if they require you to send them an amount of money first in order for you to receive a large amount of money back. This is your typical prize winning scam like a lottery scam or something similar, where you might have to send them an amount of money in order to receive your lottery winnings or some sort of prize. If you think about this logically, why couldn't they just have taken whatever fees they need from the prize pool itself that they were going to give out to you? Why would you ever need to send them any money first in the first place? Well, they couldn't because it is a scam. If anyone ever requires you to send them money first in order to receive a price, just don't do it. So how do we tell if an investment opportunity is a scam? Now, this is probably one of the hardest things to do. And many things that seem legit at first end up turning out to be scams. I mean, just look at FTX. They were one of the top three crypto exchanges in the world. And it turns out they were just using customer money to make large crypto bets. And it turns out all to be a gigantic scam. Ultimately, the way that investing works is that some people run a business and you invest money in them to help them run the business. And they make money from that business and a portion of that earnings goes back to you, the investors. So basically, they would have to be making money first in order for you to get any returns. If a business seems to be getting money to pay you out of nowhere, you really have to wonder where they're actually getting all these funds to pay you from. Like what people always say, if something is free, then you are the product that is being sold. For example, with social media platforms such as Instagram, Facebook, Google, TikTok, and many others, basically you are the product that is being sold there. Also, historically, the stock market returns around 7 to 10% per year before inflation and taxes. So if there's an investment opportunity that promises a significantly higher return than that at pretty much no risk at all, you really have to question how they even afford to pay you in the first place. Now, how do we find out if an investment opportunity or financial service in New Zealand is a scam or not? So first of all, I will quickly hop over to interest.co.nz. And then while on the page, I will scroll over to term deposits and view or rates. If we scroll down a bit here, you can check the credit ratings for many of the financial service providers. So the credit ratings range all the way from AAA all the way down to D. And the more letters they have, the better. So for example, a triple B rating is better than one of the double B ratings. If you get a rating that is under double B, they could be at risk of non-payment. 
So the Reserve Bank of New Zealand website states that a double B rating has a one in 10 probability of default over a five year period. Next up, to look up the company that I'm interested in, I will go to the Financial Service Providers Register of New Zealand, also known as the FSP. Here you can look up a company to see if they are registered as a legal financial service provider. Here we can look up a company to see if they are a registered legal financial service provider. So we can use Shearsies as an example. And here we can see that they are indeed registered as Shearsies Limited. So if the investment company is not registered, you might not want to invest with them. Next up, to find out if a company has done anything shady in the past, we can go to the Financial Markets Authority, the FMA. So let's go ahead and look up Shearsies again. And here we go, there is an article that says that back in August of 2021, Shearsies has been issued a formal warning for anti-money laundering back in uh, August 2021. Now, does this mean that they have done something shady? Well, maybe, maybe not. From the uh, FMA's view, Shearsies has failed to obtain information about the nature and purpose of the proposed business relationship from most customers and they have not obtained sufficient information to decide whether customers should be subject to more due diligence. So basically, they just require more information from Shearsies itself. Now, if you see a company with tons of these warnings, you probably want to stay away from them. Overall, if something is too good to be true, then it probably is. If you are unsure about a investment or a financial service provider, be sure to check up on those websites and stay safe when investing.